Yes. Well, first, I just want to start with, I am so very, very excited to be here. Ever since I was a little girl, I have dreamt about coming to the wintering grounds where the monarchs are. So I am just overjoyed with excitement. And here we are just on day one. We're having fun. We're learning the history of the city. And I'm just excited to wake up tomorrow morning and head to our first butterfly sanctuary. The people in Mexico City are very friendly, but there's a lot of them. <laughs> so one got lost in the crowd, but we found her. So uh, it's gonna be great. I've seen the monarch butterflies once, but seeing millions of butterflies again, it's okay. I'm good with that. So I'm excited for the people that haven't seen them. It's a very moving experience. Uh, the lady in front of me, when I first was seeing them, we started seeing butterflies and she was with her husband and she was like crying. It was amazing. I absolutely loved it. I loved having a horse and having a guide on the horse. I love it because the weather is so pretty, but I loved it because we were all together in a group and we saw a lot of butterflies and it, it was amazing. I, I truly loved it. It's been a great trip. So um, in addition to seeing the butterflies, um, there were so many, it was like being covered in a snow globe of butterflies. And that was really a once in a lifetime event for me. It was fabulous. A little rigorous, but it was also good that we could do the horse rides and, uh, and climb the, uh, the, uh, the paths. Um, but in addition to the butterflies, which was great, um, we've, we've learned a lot about the Mexican culture and about the country, and I've enjoyed those educational aspects as well. Uh, this is an amazing trip. It's a bucket list kind of trip. Um, highly recommend for anyone uh, that loves butterflies, loves monarchs, to take this trip. Um, the anticipation as you come up on the horse and you see maybe a few monarchs and then you get closer and you get closer and you see millions of them. Um, it is spectacular, um, awe-inspiring that this insect that weighs the weight of a paperclip can travel 3,000 miles from Canada and make it here. And just um, very reverent, very um, peaceful and uh, just uh, amazing trip. Okay, this trip is phenomenal. It was on my bucket list. I got a chance to ride a horse three times up the mountain. I had a chance to eat authentic um, Mexican food. I have a chance to um, just take in the culture, be in the mountains, and just or enjoy everything about the butterflies. Yeah, so my expectations, as I said before, were going into this trip was that I want to see millions of butterflies and I want to feel at peace and very reverent in the area in the forest where they are. And that absolutely happened. Um, I also mentioned that I wanted to have a butterfly land on me that would represent my grandma and grandpa, and one did. So I'm very happy about that. It was a very peaceful and loving situation for me to be in. It was very special, very uh, emotional, because uh, we had three different experiences, three different sanctuaries that we visited, and everyone was completely different. So uh, travelers could experience uh, to see the butterflies attached to the, uh, the branches of the trees, uh, just um, with a very minimal movement, but very special because it is uh, one of the behaves that they expect to see, because it is a um, meaning that uh, they won't fly soon. Uh, then we went to another sanctuary and they could see uh, the butterflies, some flying around, uh, some movement, others still in branches. Uh, and it was, of course, very hard to go to the top of the mountain. So they finally felt that it was a, really a good experience and a good award at the end to do that big effort. Uh, we went also to El Rosario, which is really the place where we can see the m biggest number of butterflies. And it was just incredible. You could see people uh, crying, uh, some people just um, relaxing or having the best time ever because uh, they never saw so many butterflies flying around themselves. So it is really a very um, special experience, unique, we could say, 
So this was uh, the trip of their lives for some people. Okay, um, in one word, what, how can you describe till now the trip? In one word. Awesome. Magnificent. Reflection. Fantastic. Um, inspiring. It's been a fabulous trip. Fantastic. <laughs>